Hello and welcome to Palma de Mallorca. I'm Adi Daly. Today I would like to show you this lovely Arcona 43 True Heading. She was built in 2011. She's had the same owner since new and he has kept her meticulously. She really is in super condition and ready to go with the next owner. So we'll just step on board. You see this great size cockpit, innovative Arcona drop down cockpit table there. We've got the nav display here at the starboard helm, Yamaha engine panel, BNG autopilot. Come round to port, see the other helm position, another nav display. Great size cockpit lockers back here. And we're going to have a look forward up the side decks. In the cockpit we've got the Anderson winches. Non-skid finish on the side decks. Low maintenance, yet nice and safe underfoot. We're going to walk forward You see the Genoa furling, seldom below deck furling. And then as we look aft, you see the spinnaker pole is stored on deck here, carbon pole. Good size hatches, brings in lots of light. Up the rig, aluminium fractional rig, three spreaders. The main sail is slab reef and we have the lazy bag, lazy jacks, makes it really nice and easy to use, short handed. Also you see all the running rigging is led back to the cockpit here. Nice arrangement of blocks at the base of the mast. We have rod rigging, the Selden Vang. And then you'll see this cover's in good condition as well. She has a spray hood, it's not on at the moment, but you can see the framework there. And she also has a full cockpit cover, which is always put on when the boat's not in use. And that's really helped to maintain this teak in great condition, as you can see. This winch on the starboard side is dual speed electric. And we'll step back into the cockpit. You can see there there's the Carbonautica passerelle, which is an essential when you're in the Mediterranean. To port here is the carbon pole on which we can find the radar and the GPS compass is up there as well. Nice little tidies there for your lines. Keeps the cockpit nice and clear. Lots of space for entertaining, safe place to be at sea. Right, let's step down below and have a look around. Here we are looking forward in the saloon. It's lovely warm woodwork. Makes it a really nice place to be in here. You can see the seating on either side, C-shaped port, lovely big table. Great space for plenty of people to seat comfortably. This blue fabric's in great condition throughout. We'll swing around, have a little look at the galley there.
It's a good safe place to be at sea as well. A workable area. It was a lovely sunny day, so I kept the curtains closed, but you can still see how much light there is in this saloon. Got this big central hatch. And then we'll go forward into the master cabin. It's a full beam berth here in the forward cabin. We've got storage above the bunk. And then we'll see below as well, there's drawers below the bed. Nice comfortable area. There's a little seat here just to starboard as well. Always useful to have somewhere to sit when you're trying to get your socks on at sea. So we'll come round and look at the ensuite head for the master cabin. We have our Jabsco manual toilet there. Stainless sink. Good storage in here. And you can see the shower behind us in the mirror there. There we are. This boat's had very little use throughout her life and that really shows uh, with the quality of the woodwork inside. Arcona's are strongly built yachts. They have this galvanised steel chassis which is bolted through the bulkheads. That allows any load to be distributed through the hull um, making it feel solid and strong. Let's have a little look in the lockers. We've got hanging on this side and then shelves forward. Back into the saloon under the companionway stairs is access to the engine. We'll have a look in there in a minute. It's not a one-handed job opening that, so I can't do it with a camera in my hand. Lots of storage, shelving, and then the chart table. Comfortable place to slot yourself in there. Nicely arranged electric panel. VHF, we've got the slave on deck as well, panel for the water maker, and then this monitor is mostly used for nav, but there is a DVD player and speakers throughout. Come back round into the galley, well organised locker space in here, G force cooker and stove, gas. Twin stainless sinks. See how much light's pouring in. Just have a quick look in these lockers. Plenty of room for your spices and bits and pieces. And then the top loading fridge. It's got these useful baskets in here, which helps you to make use of the space. Nicely organized. Another quick look at the lovely saloon. Nice place to be. And then this aft head day head and for use for the aft cabins. Same Jabsco toilet. Stainless sink and shower again. Twin aft cabins, mirrors of each other. 
really nice sized bunks in here and lots of storage space. This side we have a hanging locker and in the port there are shelves. Below this bunk is the battery switches, which we'll just have a look at. And then below the bed itself, we have a, a main battery breaker as well. So, to have a look in the engine room now. Here she is, the Yanmar 4JH5E with 55 horsepower. You can see that the engine bilge is nice and clean. This is a, a well-maintained engine, annually serviced and thoroughly looked after. We've got two 12 volt alternators for the engine start battery and the service batteries. So those alongside the Fisher Panda 5000 4 kilowatt generator, they give you plenty of support for charging batteries and for the 220 volt power consumption. You can see this is a nice clean engine. So we're just going to have a quick look into this port aft cabin. As I say, it's a mirror of the starboard side. But on this side, we've got shelving in the cupboards. It's a great space for guests. They have, you know, their own area. Nice and light, these aft cabins as well. And as you can see, the woodwork is just perfect. So a last look around the saloon, and here she is, true heading. Lying in Palma de Mallorca and I look forward to welcoming you on board.